Hello friends, today I'll show you my kids geometry box. What are the parts inside it? This is the domes geometry box. You can buy it in the uh, book stalls. I'll show you one by one what are the parts inside it. Okay, this is the protractor. This is the protractor used it to draw the different angles and to measure the different angles. And this is the one of the set square. And this is another set square. Okay, this is the ruler. Okay, ruler is marked in centimeters. One centimeter is equal to ten millimeters. And uh, this is the divider. And uh, this one is the this one is the compass. And this is the compass. And uh, this is the eraser. And this is the sharpener. These are the items uh, available in Dome's geometry box. Now I will show you how to use one by one. Okay, so. This is the ruler. Ruler is used to draw the lines and line segments. And this is the line. And you can use the line segments also. You can draw. Line segments is uh, having two points A and B. Okay. You can use the ruler to draw the triangles, squares, rectangles, and parallel lines. Anything you can use for this is the ruler usage. Okay. This is the protractor. Protractor is used to measure the angle between two lines for example i'll draw the two lines here okay so this is uh, one horizontal line and this is another line so i'll measure the angle between two lines two these two lines using the protractor this is a and this is b this is o o is the origin so angle between a o b is equal to how much it's okay this is the angle theta so i'll measure the angle between these two using this protractor so i will this in the protractor this is the reference point this is the reference point and this is the baseline so you have to keep this baseline exactly above the line and this one you should keep at the center so this is the center point and this is the line so i'll keep the center point here and i'll keep this uh, line exactly above the straight line so so now i will see this one 0 10 20 30 40 degrees Okay, you can see 40 right here. So the 40 degrees is the angle between these two. Okay, so you can in this protractor you can have the you can measure the angle from this side also from here this side also. So for example, if I draw the line like this, and if I draw the line like this, if I found to find the angle between here, we can use the protractor to find the angle. You can measure from other side. Okay, so from other side. So here, so 0, 10, 30 and 40. This is also 40 degrees angle. And this is protractor is a semicircle which consists of total 180 degrees. Okay, from both sides. And this is a set square. And there will be two set squares inside the geometry box. One is a 30, 60 and 90 degrees uh, uh, set square. Another one is 45 and 30, 60 and 30, 60, 90 degrees. This is 45, 45, 90 degrees set squares. Okay. This this one will be used directly to draw the triangles. Okay, I will show you how to draw the triangles. So this uh, set square is used to draw the triangle directly. This is uh, this this one is 90 degrees. This one is a 30 degrees, and this one is 60 degrees angle. This is 60. This is the this is 30, and this is 90 degrees set square. Okay. So this one is 30. This one is 60. This one is 90 degrees set square, and this one is the 90 90 45 45 degrees and this one is so okay this one is 90 degrees this one is 45 this one is 45 degrees 45 degrees and this is 90 degrees so instead of using the scale and protractor you can draw the lines of 30 45 and 60 degrees directly using this head squares so how can we use this one is is uh, set square okay this is the base i will draw a base here and if i draw the line from here to here okay and this is the this is 30 degrees angle this is 30 degrees angle and if i use the okay if i use like this the straight line and if i use like this this will be 60 degrees 60 degrees angle directly without using the protractor i can use set squares and draw the lines and similarly I can draw the lines of 45 degrees 
45 degrees using the set square. This is 45 degrees. 45 degrees. And this is the use of the set squares. And also using the set squares, you can draw the parallel lines. How can we draw the parallel lines? Okay. So we'll use this set square quickly because this have the equal sizes. So this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. You can draw the parallel lines. So you can use example is if I want to draw the parallel line at two centimeters, I can use because I need to keep this one exactly uh, above the line so that I can get the parallel lines. Okay, and if I want another one at two centimeters, I can use and another one at the two parallel lines. So I can I can use the set squares to draw the parallel lines. And uh, this is the this is the divider. Okay, you can you can divide the line. You can divide the line into different line segments using this divider. Like this, you can measure this one, and like this, you can use this one. You can use divide this line. And another one is this is the uh, compass. Compass is used to draw the circles and semicircles and arcs. You can use this one, like this. Okay, you can you can draw the circles. Okay. So these are the different uh, the items inside the uh, geometry box. I hope you understood how to use the different uh, parts of it. Thank you. Thanks for watching.